Khomeini may have been a religious leader, but he was actually a very political uh, man. Khomeini was, in a way, the new national leader, uh, replacing uh, Mossadegh as the national opposition. So he, from 1964 onwards, he had a public program that appealed to as many people as possible. In the Islamic Republic, everyone would be guaranteed their uh, basic rights and so on. So very few people could object to his public pronouncements. However, in, within his own circle, he argued that the rightful uh, guides of, of the society should be the Murchtahes. It could be a committee of guides, or if there was one paramount uh, Murchtahed, then he would be the guide of society. On one level is the desire to create a constitution that would implement the Khomeini's notion of Velayat al -Fari. Then there's the public aura that the Islamic Revolution, the Islamic Republic, would be basically like any other democratic uh, constitution. When they sat down to write the constitution, uh, the people who were chosen were predominantly students of Khomeini. And what they did in writing the very elaborate, complex constitution basically pays lip service to democracy. But at the core of it, guidance of society, of the republic, has to be in the hands of the clerical leaders. It has to be Khomeini. So he's appointed for life as the guide, the leader.